the lever rule. The phase diagram tells us what our mixture will look like in terms of the weight percentage of the materials and the temperature. So for example, if you have 30% uh, tin at 100 degrees Celsius, we're going to have some mixture of alpha phase and beta phase, where alpha is primarily lead, beta is primarily tin. But the question is, how much of each will there be? So let's take a, a, a point, 20% tin, 100 degrees. Here's the same diagram uh, to allow me to draw on it. If I want to locate 20% tin, I find it here on the bottom axis. At 100 degrees, I find it here on the horizontal axis. This is my point. And I want to know how much of this mixture is going to be alpha and how much beta. Well, I can see that I'm close to the alpha side. Clearly, it's going to be mostly alpha. And in fact, it varies linearly. At this point, I have 100% alpha in my mixture. At this point, I have 100% beta. As I go along this line, at 10% of the way along or so, I've got 90% beta, I'm sorry, 90% alpha, 10% beta. At the midpoint, I've got about half and half, half alpha, half beta. And as I get closer over here, it's mostly beta and only little alpha. So the proportion of this length from this point to this point determines how much of this is alpha and how much is beta. So the way we find that proportion using the lever rule is to get the exact numbers in terms of percent tin for these two limits to our horizontal line. In this case, it's 5% uh, tin, and here it's 98% tin. So in order to figure out how far we are along this line, we simply ratio. So it's 20 minus 5 divided by 98 minus 5. And if you do the numbers, it turns out to be uh, 15 over 93 equals 16%. So we've gone 16% of the way along this line. So the other side of the line is, of course, 84%. Because we're closer to the alpha side, it is in fact 84% alpha and only 16% beta. And the way you remember which one is, is the larger number is just whichever one is closer to the border. We can also solve this by using equation 9.10 in the book. Equation 9.10 uh, in Shackelford's Introduction to Material Science for Engineers tells us that the ratio of beta to the total is this formula, which is the same thing we wrote before. Let me show you back on this diagram. X here stands for the actual mixture concentration. X alpha is the fraction of tin in alpha phase, and X beta is the fraction of beta in, uh, I'm sorry, tin in the beta phase. So then the equation is x minus x alpha over x beta minus x alpha. And this is equation, oh, equals the mass fraction of beta. And this is equation 9.110 in your book, or the lever rule.